welcome to the Dad Sam Cooking Show. Here we go. And Charlie, it's what are we making today? Uh, tuna salad. Tuna salad. Tuna salad. So we got some ingredients here. Uh -huh. uh, Sam and Charlie are going to tell us what the ingredients are. We have celery, tuna, and uh, celery. And, uh, celery, tuna. Salad. Tuna. We bought bumblebee, but you can buy any kind you want. We prefer uh, in water. Uh, what's this? Uh, mayonnaise. 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 And do you remember what the name of this is? No. No. Relish. Relish? Relish is an optional ingredient for tuna salad. Some people put it in. That means some people put it in, some people don't. I like it. And you can put it in as much in as you want to taste. We'll show that a little later when we add it. The other thing is, is in case anybody at home makes tuna salad, we leave onions out of ours. Um, just because, I mean, it's a preference thing. So. Uh, there's no onions. This is an onionless tuna salad. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's start our mixing now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add some tuna to our bowl, and then Sam and Charlie are going to add the celery. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's move the celery over here by you guys. Yep. Then we're going to grab it. Dump it. Grab it. Dump it. I'm going to add a couple cans of tuna to start off. Actually, I'm going to add all the tuna to start off, and I'm doing this because these cans are sharp. Now we're gonna Wait, yes, you guys can start adding that slowly. I'm doing a lot. Good grief. I hope nothing gets on my knee. No. Well, wait for a second. No, look at on you. If you just hold on, I'm going to get this big one in there. This tuna is also um, not chunk. We buy it the well, solid white, and then we just kind of chop it. I really want to have a taste of tuna and see what it tastes like. I think some celery just hit my foot. Let's try and get it in the bowl there, Charlie. Charlie's still working on some of his his um, more finite cooking motor skills, but we're getting there. Yeah, I'm, well, I do my even the crack ones and the you too crack ones. Okay, we're adding some more tuna. We bought roughly two big cans, two small cans of tuna, but this should be enough tuna salad for us to have for the week. And then, I'll, and then I want a taste of the tuna. Yeah, we do. We Take do, a little taste do. of it if you want. Go right ahead. Right ahead. Don't be a little fishy without all the seasonings. Mm. Yummy. Now there really isn't a whole heck of a lot. It's like chicken, Sam. Tastes like chicken? Yeah. It's the chicken of the sea, Charlie. Yeah, that's what they call tuna, the chicken of the sea. Well, I'm going to take this knife here, guys, and what we're going to do is, is, since this is solid tuna, we're just going to take this knife very kind of quickly and gently, not too hard, um, just chop it up a little. It's going to get kind of broken up when we mix this, too. Let's show everyone what this looks like now. Right now, it's just raw tuna and uh, celery in the bowl. Next thing we're going to add is the mayo and the relish, salt and pepper, and then we're ready to go. I'm doing this with a knife because I want it to slice through the tuna where and when it can, and I think it's looking good. It's just about right. And, uh, oh, I set that timer in a minute. Okay, so here's our mayonnaise. We're going to add our mayonnaise next. Mayonnaise, we're going to measure it out, but it, it kind of, Charlie, hold on. We're in a cooking show right now, Charlie. We're being filmed here. You're on TV. Are you paying attention to how you're and then Junko and Nuckham, and this is Junko's Kitty. Junko's Kitty is here, okay. So this is a half cup of this. Cat Boy's Kitty. Can you please add this in there? I need each of you to take a fork. Each of you to take a fork. Why is there, what the, this is a remote control. This is not part of our tuna salad. It is. Here's yours. I need you to take that one, and I'm gonna start adding this, and you guys are gonna start mixing it. Be careful when you're mixing. Get that mayonnaise all the way in there. I want to coat it all with mayonnaise. You don't want any mayonnaise sticking out. No. Yeah. Now this calls for a cup. I'm done. But we, you're done already. I you can't are. Do it. You can't do it. I have a little bit harder. That's it. okay. I know you can do it. Okay, I our try mayo. To do it. Mayonnaise. That's still a lot of mayonnaise. Yep. Good. Mixed in there. Good. All mixed in. Now we're all mixing together. Yes, we're all mixing together. And I think with tuna salad, you just have to kind of mix, add, taste. Because 
Anyone Everybody likes it a little now bit. Now let's different. show everyone. Hold on a second. I can't sit off my look at tip again. Watch this. That's a, that's a gut guess. Another half a cup of that. I got some over there. Yeah, we don't want any mayonnaise. This is a lot, actually. I think we're making this is we're making more than we did last time because it's taking more mayo than last time. Yeah, be careful though to make sure you keep your stirring in the bowl. You too, Charlie. We have a piece of tuna get away from us and hide somewhere and not clean it up. <laughs> and have a smelly, smelly house. Okay. Yeah, we're doing this. Now, once we've added the mayonnaise, which we're going to need some more, the next step, fairly simple, is the relish. Relish, and ma relish, as we said before, is optional, meaning you don't have to put it in. But, it gives the tuna salad <laughs> oh kind of a sweet taste. If you guys keep mixing that, I'm going to add some relish. Oh, yeah. Right out of the jar, don't worry about straining or anything, just relish in. Relish. Well, that was yes. three heaping teaspoons of relish. Oh no, not again. Oh. Okay. Oh. That's all right. That's going to happen. Then you try to drop it in. No, just, just leave it out. If something comes out of the bowl and lands on the counter or the floor, oh. we leave it out. Okay. Guys, take these out here. We're going to let everyone see our tuna salad that we've made. It looks like, I tell you, it looks like it's just about ready here. It oh, we forgot one key ingredient. It smells like a restaurant. Doesn't it smell like a restaurant in here? Yeah. It sure does. Well, then you can get some to help bring out the flavor of the Add a little, we'll add a little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper is to taste too, right, guys? And that's how easy it is. To make homemade <laughs> And there you have it. Thanks for watching. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. And cut. Cut.